Hey guys, Toad Gaming. This video is a send off for Ash as his long journey in Pokemon has finally come to an end. Pokemon has been a part of my life for years now, and I feel like it is only fitting to use one of Ash's teams. This is his Kalos team, so let's find out just how good it really is. I start off with my Greninja, he starts off with his Golomora. Go for the Hydro Bump, he switches down to the Claws Eye with the Water Absorb. I then go out to my Gujra, and he sets up a Light Earth Hazard. I go for the Draco, it does just a little bit of damage, he poisons me with the Toxic. I then switch back into my Greninja and he sets up another layer of spike. He then switches into his Gold Dangle, predicting the Psychic move, which does come out, get a critical hit, does a nice chunk of damage. I then switch out to my Gudra for the incoming Shadow Bolt, eats that right up. He then switches back into Claw's Dire, predicting the Fire move, takes that right up. And I get a Lucky Burn. I then decide to go for the Draco Meter, does about a third, I get the Special Attack lower, but he takes to recover, gets all of his health back, and some lefties. I then switch back to Greninja, realizing I can't do much damage, take some spike damage, he sets up another layer. I then go for the extra sensory, turn psychic type, do about half damage, he goes for the toxic, gives me the badly poison. I go for another extra sensory, take out the claws dire. He then switches out to the beautiful shiny Sharapter, I go for another extra sensory, do a huge chunk of damage, but he's able to take me out with the U-turn. He then pivots to his Glamora, and I throw out my Hall Lucha. Go for the close combat, do a nice chunk of damage. He sets up his Toxic Spikes with that, I use my White Herb, get the stats back. He goes for the Power Gem, does a big chunk to me. The Hall Lucha is able to hang on, goes for another close combat, punch him in the face a bit, take him out. He then switches down to his Iron Valiant, uses the booster energy to get that Quark Drive boost, but I take him out with a one-shot with the Acrobatics. He then switches down to his Great Tusk, I go for another Acrobatics, do about half, but he takes me out with a rapid spin and gets his own speed boost right there. I then switch out to my Talonflame knowing I still have the Gale Wings, take him out with the Brave Bird, take a nice chunk of recoil. He then switches into his Gold Dango, goes for the Shadow Ball, takes out my Talonflame. I then switch out to the signature Ace of Ash, Pikachu, get some Toxic, he switches out to Star Raptor, go for the iconic Volt Tackle, take out the Star Raptor, take a little bit of recoil, take some poison damage. He then switches back into his Goldango, goes for the Shadow Ball, takes out my Pikachu. I then switch out to my Gudra, who moves down to the Spikes. Then go into my last Pokemon, the Noivern. I Terra Steel, he goes for the Shadow Ball, does a big chunk of damage. Go for the Flamethrower, take him out, and good game. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for future content. Now let's get into game two. I start off with my Talonflame, he starts off with Weavile, go right for the U-turn into my Greninja. He goes for the beat up. I resist it, but it still hits me a bunch, doing a good chunk of damage. He then switches down to his back Scalibur. I go for the Ice Beam, do about a little over half, go for another Ice Beam, take out the back Scalibur with the two shot. He goes back into his Weavile, goes for the low kick, and takes out my Greninja. I then go into my Hall Lucha. He goes for the Ice Skull Crash, one shot to me, probably not the best play there. Go back into my Talonflame, go for the U-turn, take out his Weavile. He uses it to pivot into my Pikachu. He goes into his Iron Valiant, gets the Quark Drive boost. Tetra goes, goes for the Moonblast, unfortunately one shot my Pikachu. I then go into my Gudra, I Terra Steel, resist his Moonblast, and go for the Flamethrower, do about half there. Tails for a Shadow Ball, taking nothing from that, go for a Flamethrower, take out the Iron Valiant. He then goes into his Cinderace, I switch out, go to my Noivern to resist the fire move. He switches into his Hydreigon, I go for the Draco Meteor and one shot the Hydreigon. He then goes into his King Gambit, I outspeed, one shot him with the Flamethrower, Noivern is putting in some quick work right here. He then goes into his Cinderace, go for the Draco Meteor, do a little bit over half even with the special attack lower. He goes for the Pyro Ball, takes out my Noivern. I then go into my Talon Flame, go for the Brave Works, I still have that Gale Wings boost, take him out, good game. Let's get right into game three. He goes out with Cinderace, I go out with my Pikachu, he goes for the U-turn, takes me out in one shot. He then uses it to pivot into his Rotom Wash, I decide to go into my Hall Lucha, go for the close combat, do a big chunk of damage. White Herb gives me my stats back, he decides to set up his screens, and then switches out into his Toxapex. I go for the Acrobatics, do about a third, he gets his leftovers, I decide to switch into my Greninja, he goes for the Bamble Bunker which fails, I then go for the Extra Sensory, switch to a Psychic type, one shot the Toxapex. 
He then switches back out into his Cinderace. I just have to switch into my Gudra. He goes for the U-turn. Takes does a nice chunk to my Gudra. Goes into his Ting Loop. I decide to switch into my Grand Ninja. He goes for the Ruination, does half like usual. I decide to go for the Hydro Pump, switch to my Water type, do a huge chunk, but unfortunately don't take out the Tingaloo. He goes for the Spikes, goes for a Protect. I go for the Hydro Pump, obviously it doesn't hit. He then switches into his Rotom Wash. I go for the Hydro Pump, thankfully I hit, take out the Rotom Wash. He goes back into his Cinder Race, goes for the Gunk Shot, takes out my Grand Ninja. I then go into my Hall Lucha. He goes for the Gunk Shot, that's a big chunk to me. I go for the Acrobatics, unfortunately don't take him out. He goes for another Gunk Shot, takes out my Hall Lucha. I then switch into my Talon Flame. He decides to switch into his Guard Chomp. I go for the Brave Bird, do a big chunk of damage, but then I take a lot from the Recoil, his Rough Skin, and the Rocky Helm. But I decide to go for another one, take another big chunk of Recoil from all those things. Left with just a Sliver. He goes into his Cinderace, goes for the Pyro Ball, takes out my Talon Flame. I go into my Gudra. He decides to switch into his Ditto. I go for the Sludge Bomb. Unfortunately, not going to go for the Draco Meteor, but I luckily get the Poison. I decided to Terra Steel. Thankfully, he misses his Draco Meteor. I hit my Draco Meteor, take out his Gudra, because mine is clearly superior. He goes into his Cinderace, goes for the Pyro Ball, misses. I go for the Sludge Bomb. Unfortunately, with the Attack Drop, don't kill Cinderace, and then he takes me out with the Pyro Ball after that. He then goes into his Noivern and switches into his Tinglu. I go for the Flamethrower, take out the Tinglu, take a little bit of recoil damage. He then goes back into his Cinderace, goes for the Gunk Shot, misses Noivern, and I take him out with the Terror Blast. Good game. And then without further ado, let's get into the last game. He starts off with his Masquerade, I start off with my Noivern. He goes for the Knockoff, does a huge chunk of damage, it makes me lose my life. Load. I go for the Flamethrower, do barely anything, and decide to switch into my Gutra. He goes for the knockoff, does another huge chunk of damage, I lose my vest, goes for another knockoff, takes out my Gudra. I then decide to switch into my Talon Flame, go for the Brave Bird, because I wanted to get rid of that problem right there. He goes into his Toxapex, I decide to switch back into my Noivern, he goes for the Toxic, I take some damage, I go for the Dragomir, do a little chunk of damage, get the lower. He uses his Eject Button, goes into his Roaring Mood, gets his Protosynthesis Boost, my Noivern goes down. I then switch into my Grand Ninja, <clears throat> he switches back into his Tox Specs, I go for the Ice Beam, do a little chunk of damage. I then switch into my Pikachu, he goes for the Toxic. I then go for the Volt Tackle, which takes up the Tox Specs, and Pikachu is doing some work right now. Taking some Recoil, Poison Damage, he goes into the Great Tusk. I go for the Play Rough, unfortunately he's way too tanky, takes me out with the Earthquake. I use this to go into my Hall Lucha, go for the Brave Bird, unfortunately still not enough to take him out. He goes for the knockoff, knocks off my White Herb. He then switches into his Gardevoir, traces my Unburden. I use that to go for the Acrobatics, do a huge chunk of damage. You go for another one, take out the Gardevoir. He then goes into his Scalar Dirge, I go for the Brave Bird, he tanks that right up. Goes for the Will with completely clear-prowling my Hall Lucha, I take a little bit of burn damage. I just have to stay in, just Brave Bird it out. He goes for the slack off, just stalls out my Hall Lucha. Can't do anything about that. I switch into my Greninja. Terra Water. He ends up tearing for the Fairy. Go for the Hydro Pump, still do a lot of damage. He misses his Wisp. I go for another Hydro Pump, take out the Skeledurge. He then goes into his Great Tusk. I just have to stay in, go for another Hydro Pump, take out the Great Tusk. He then goes into his Roaring Moon. I decide to switch into the Talon Flame because I'm choice. Take the Acrobatics, Talon Flame goes down. Switch right back into my Greninja. Decide to go for the Ice Beam. Do a nice chunk of damage. Doesn't take him out, but I get the Lucky Freeze. And he's not a fan of that and decides to forfeit. If you enjoy this type of content, stay tuned. We got much more coming your way. Peace.